Let's go meet Jamie and Stephanie. Okay. Hello. Hey, Hi. guys, Hi. how are you? I'm Look obsessed with your house. I know, Thank Look you. at this place, it's like a magic box. This is so cool. Yeah. How old is this house? Late 1800s, just based on how the house was built. Can I open this? Yes, yes. So, please do. All right, this is so beautiful. Even though you just moved in, it's already oozing with charm, oozing with yeah. character. I don't normally like that word, but it's the correct use. Oozing? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I you can't. know, it's so rare that you come into a home that was built this long ago and somebody didn't wreck it. And that's kind of our goal too, is like we really want to honor the spirit of the house. It's really about, I guess, interpreting what works and what doesn't work for a young family now. Yeah. Yes, yes and wait till you see upstairs. Is that where we're here? Because <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's nothing. I mean, like, yeah, these rooms are great. The real problem with the second floor is all the doors open into every room. Will you show us upstairs? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, to you guys. We almost didn't buy this house for this floor. Really? No open layout in a Victorian. Yeah. So, okay, so we're on the landing. So this is where I orient myself. Right. I was like, okay, landing, I can go door one, door two, door three, four, five. How does this work? Yeah, yeah. okay, so you come landing. up, you land right here. You land here. This okay. is our bedroom. <gasps> this right is the away. boudoir. We are trying to decide like what room was what, and we're like, fireplace has to be our room. This here is also on the downstairs fireplace. That's Marion. She's the daughter of the people who built this house. No way. Yeah, and that's her on the maple tree that used to be outside in the front. No way. I have a passion for things that have history. Uh, it's one of my favorite entry points to design. And so when Jamie and Stephanie were showing me that bronze center of the fireplace and told me that the woman depicted in it is Marion, who used to have that home. It was like a legacy. It was like all the wheels started turning for me. This is uh, Javi's playroom. I think the biggest thing that's not working for us is the fact that it's connected to our bedroom. We can't even talk because anytime he's asleep, we're creeping. Yeah. We're like creeping because we're so close to where he sleeps. Well, where does he sleep? Yeah, because this is his playroom. Right? Can you show us where he sleeps? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. you come back through the Okay, let's go back through the, the bedroom. The maze of doors. Which is because, so the, your room's basically, oh. Oh yeah, this is brutal. <laughs> I didn't says, even notice this. Nothing says privacy like a bifolding door. I know. So okay. this is his bedroom. Why wow, you really don't have any privacy. No. no. Okay. It was difficult for us to even imagine what that space should look like, what the flow should be. So most people who buy a first home don't buy a 200-year-old <laughs> Victorian that needs work. We really just wanted something that had character. Okay. And we wanted to be part of the story of this house and that our family could be a part of that and our son could grow up feeling like he's part of something special. Javier's 15 months, right? Yes. <laughs> and then are there plans for, for expanding the family? Yeah, there are. yes. We really are looking to have another kid in like the next year. Or okay, so, so yeah. the decisions that we make about like the distribution of the space up here are really important and we should have that in mind. Yes. yes. Okay. This is the only bathroom to the house. One bathroom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you only imagine? Yeah. yeah. Maybe to get another bathroom on this floor. Okay. It's funny, it's big, but it's compact. When, when Javi takes a bath, I mean, like, I'm squishing in here. Right, okay. But it's so awful. Like, you're navigating around this single sink, which is taking a lot of space for one sink. Everything's jammed in. And yeah. I feel like this was like a kind of a modern, late 70s, 80s, we're gonna plop this in. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have a lot of storage either, right? So this is where our clothes live. <gasps> yeah. Oh, a lot of clothes. I, we were so shocked when we were like in the bathroom, we're like, oh, what's in here? Yeah. Because you think it's gonna be like this deep and like shampoo. So your closet's in your only bathroom, and it's a long way from your bedroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get my bearings yeah. around. Yeah, I know. It's very confusing. There's a small spare room at the front of the house that would make a great nursery. The other rooms, the playroom, primary bedroom, and existing nursery are essentially a glorified hallway. The entire floor plan needs to be reworked. Have you guys landed on an overall number for what you're hoping to spend on the renovation? $80,000. And we want to explore the idea of another bathroom. A secondary bathroom upstairs. Yes. The primary bathroom becomes an actual primary bathroom, and then okay. we have, like, when the kids are, or when the baby is bigger, he mm -hmm. has his own. For us, the design process always starts with an inspiration board. We're always kind of taking these pictures and keeping this Rolodex of imagery that really inspires us, and it really helps when we start building out these projects, because I have to have it on a board, I have to build it out, I need to see the whole story of everything, so it really helps. All right, so I thought it'd be nice for us to kind of walk through 
and talk conceptually what we wanted to achieve for Jamie and Stephanie. This is going to be a big renovation and I feel like we need to use color. I think that there's something about the fantasy of Victorian architecture that I do connect to. And when I look at sort of like what we did for our own children's rooms, yeah. I think that there's something about that sophisticated whimsy that ties in really well to all those ceiling medallions and moldings and original flooring and all of the things that we're preserving. I keep imagining it being really moody. Like deep blush, the blue, the gray, chalky marbles and like greens and maybe purples and eggplants. Yeah, I do think the palette is interesting. Well, some of these pictures I was taking just when we were walking on our hood because- The colors. You know, I loved this color. Yeah. These greens, you know, this is on our street. I thought it was pretty. I feel like that color is kind of transcends any design aesthetic really. It's gonna be pretty. Let's move Javier's nursery to the catch-all room at the front of the house. That way it's right beside the playroom. We'll move Jamie and Steph's closet to the old nursery space which connects to their bedroom and will make a whole private suite. The old closet space has potential to become a second bathroom. Do you think that we're gonna be able to do a second bathroom for them where their closet is now or no? We can talk to the contractor and see if there's a way. It's an old house. I mean, I am nervous about plumbing lines. We can ask, right? And then there's the existing bathroom. All the fixtures are crowded to one side. Ripping out the walls around the toilet allows us to expand the shower while placing the vanity in front of the window with a suspended mirror will let the space breathe and create room for bath time with the babies in the original tub. Now we can potentially get a double vanity in, which I think is really important, especially if this is the only bathroom. But also their bedroom is like Grand Central Station. There's 60 doors in and out. In Steph and Jamie's bedroom, closing off the door to the playroom will give them some badly needed privacy and also allows us to move the bed up against that wall. This frees up the space in front of the window for a cozy seating area where they can reconnect at the end of their day. Javier might need a playroom now, but this space can become his bedroom if a sibling comes along. Closing off the pass-through and rerouting the closet to open from his side allows for extra storage and creates the perfect study spot for all his future homework. So that gives them the versatility for the future if family wants to expand. I love this, by the way. Okay, great. Let's do it. Okay. We're trying to preserve as much of the home's original character as possible. The exception is the mantle in the bedroom. Do you think Helena will hire me part-time? No. Why? Because you're terrible. Jamie and Steph aren't in love with it, and it's in pretty rough shape, so we're gonna replace it with something more modern. Okay. Yeah, you know, I do my own demo work. What about it? I do it all. <laughs> Jamie and Steph fell in love for this home's historic charm but almost didn't buy it because that second floor doesn't function for their family. So we're solving their privacy issue by relocating their closet from the bathroom to the old nursery that adjoins their bedroom. I still maintain that there's nothing more luxurious on earth than having a room that's dedicated for a closet. Yeah, because Jamie and Stephanie have a ton of clothing. Tons of shoes. And now they'll have easy access to all their things directly from their bedroom. We'll add open shelves, space for hanging clothes, and racks of shoe storage. A central island with drawers on both sides will provide plenty of room for tucking everything away. It's really creating this amazing primary suite for the two of them. Yep, a yeah. whole zone for the grown-ups and a zone for the kids. Yeah, it almost feels transformative in a way. It's a kind of like walking out of your younger years and walking into a different chapter of your life as grown-ups. So what do you think of this penny tile for the bathroom floor? Don't say don't like it, cause it's already ordered in here. I thought it would be pretty if we did it in like a contrasting grout color, like dark. No, oh, cool, yeah. Then it says Listen, I mean, penny tile is one of those humble materials that anyone can afford that I think when you pair it with real marble, not everything has to be I'm kind of like right? a penny tile. You know, humble, classic. Humble and classic. Because we're gonna go so dark in this room, I think we gotta make sure it's the exact right shade. Yeah. This is a potential wall color. This is also a potential wall color, which is gorgeous. And then these are the two colors that we're gonna be potentially for everything above the rail. The original railing, the picture rail that goes around the entire room is a natural break to change a color. So your eye will actually take in that detail all around the room. Uh, this color I think is so beautiful and will coordinate with the dressing room in such a pretty way. 
I'm loving the walls in this kind of grayish humble kind of moment. Yeah. And then doing everything from that. The picture and, and the yeah. ceiling as well in this kind of pretty color. So everything is part of that like purpley, pale, pink, blushy kind of vibe. The two colors that we're proposing for the wall and the ceiling are really bold. Yeah, moody, sexy. Exactly, and the room gets enough light that it can really hold on to that. And it's a great way for us to emphasize all of that original architecture that's already in the space. Hello. Are you ready? Yes. All right, Jamie and Stephanie, come on up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. Is this really our room? This is where we live. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, I need to catch my breath for a second. <sighs> wow, this is so beautiful. I'm feeling a little emotional. I know, me too, I'm right there why. with you. I didn't even cry during our wedding, but I feel emotional right now. I can't believe that we're so privileged to have each other and now to have like this really beautiful, amazing space for our family. You know, you guys made a big move to come out here. You fell in love with the house and we took that love very seriously and we hope you see yourselves reflected in this house now. Thank you. Your chairs. I love they these fit. chairs. They fit Not only so do they fit, well. but look at your little nook. I look know. at this. So beautiful. Right in we the can, window. Like, chill in our bedroom. And the way Nate and Jeremiah style the pink chairs, they look like we bought them for this space. Everything about this room is just so perfect. Oh, honestly. Oh, and it's so, so it's great. I think the key for us is like it is still feminine yeah. Yeah. while also having like a strong statement. Yes. And it's which not is what too, feminine is. That's right? right. Really giving us our own space that's completely separate from the baby spaces. It's so beautiful in here. You're gonna have such a beautiful life here. All right, so speaking of a beautiful life, yes. Ugh. One thing I think is, you know, really, really the height of elegance and luxury mm -hmm. is behind this door. <gasps> This is... Oh my gosh, there's so much shoe storage. Who are we? Who? Seriously. This is so bright. I think that's the first thing I noticed, is how bright this is. is this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's just a simple dressing room. Yes. <laughs> now this whole section is adult. Yeah. The main bedroom, and then your beautiful new dressing room. We're not even halfway. Yeah. We did this whole floor. Now let's go see your bathroom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that bathroom is so big. When we first walked in, I was like, did they make this room bigger? Look at this mirror. How beautiful is this? This is stunning. It's gonna be so much easier to bathe Javi because now you have like the space that towels right yeah. next to you. It just set up for little kids and grown-ups. Taking out the wall around the toilet, which was totally unnecessary, yeah. you now can have this like beautiful new shower with the hand glazed green tile hand -glazed. Um, and all the marble details. I know that it was kind of an issue about two bathrooms or if we yeah. could do a one. This is so functional. It's so functional, but like also at the same time a retreat. It's like, this is my house. Exactly. This is my <laughs> house. Yes, it is. <laughs> <Earned> it. <laughs>